Yeah, so we're currently in Kondamooka country at the moment. Deli and I both both live quite locally and, and also grew up coming down here as kids. It's also a very, very cultural spot connecting back to country. It, it's kind of a significant location for that. My name's Michaela Hinckley. I'm a proud Aboriginal woman from the Kanya Nation and I play for the Brisbane Heat. I'm Dolores McDonald Dobbs, proud Indigenous woman, born and raised in Brisbane, also the first artist to design the Brisbane Heat jersey for the Indigenous round. I grew up in, in Western Sydney in a place called Penrith, which was actually quite far from um, where my Indigenous heritage is from. So I reconnected with culture a little bit later on in life, um, played my first Indigenous tour and got really into, into culture and, and kind of got me thinking a little bit more about family history and actually how to have those conversations with elders and also how to be proud and not be shame about my culture. I think that was a massive importance and, and something that, that sport's really special and significant in doing is it can actually bring our youth back into culture and reconnect them. Well, on my father's side, um, Man and Danji, which is not far from where Michaela's from. Well, Mum was actually born on Stradbroke Island, but I've always drawn and I've always painted from a very, very early age. And I think that came through my father, because he was colourblind, he'd say, oh, do you want to fill that in for me or paint that for me? Because he couldn't see the colours. So yeah, the jersey kind of came to life. We met up and we just had a yarn and, and just had a chat about culture. And I did a lot of talking. Deli did a lot of writing, listening, writing, <laughs> drawing, mocking some things up. The most recognisable aspect of that is the actual flame, which is the Brisbane Heat logo. And what I've done is I've just put it in a circular formation because it sort of represents unity, harmony, bringing together fans and players. And the central part with the U shapes, that's the players. They're all sitting in the circle and that's the Gabba. That's their home ground. So, and I've also used the, um, the colours of the Indigenous flags, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island flags. The snakes, it's the river, the Brisbane River and also snakes because they represent both male and female because they're getting used on both jerseys. And then the other parts coming out, just representing those water holes that were sort of in the area around the Brisbane cricket ground at the time. Uh, the Woolloongabba sort of means place of whirling water. And then there's the wickets coming out, it's the 87 wickets for um, Eddie Gilbert that he took in the um, Sheffield Shield. I think it just, visualises where we want to take cricket within the Indigenous community in Queensland moving forward. The fact that we've been able to visualise such an amazing story and an amazing history of culture uh, in this city gives these kids something to aspire to. Rather than it just being an, an art piece, I think it's a real... Conversation starter. Yeah, <laughs> conversation starter. And as I mentioned, it really visualises the journey that we're going to take as, the, as an organisation to really provide an opportunity for our Indigenous cohort. I'm extremely excited and, and humbled to be part of this trailblazing movement in, in recognising our Indigenous cricketers. Just to see it come to life, it's just going to be phenomenal. And I'm really honoured that she, she asked me to do it. I think the history of our culture is pretty harsh. Um, it's something that needs to be reconciled. You know, our stories, our elders' stories need to be heard and continue to be heard. And so I guess it's something that's really kind of touched my heart growing up as, as someone that hasn't been as connected to culture. It's not just mob business, it's not just our business, it's everybody's business. It's really exciting to see how bright the future looks for our Indigenous youth and our communities in general.